What is going on guys? Kim Sheet Cowboy today here with another video. It is February 11th, Super Bowl day. I want to make this video because it's maybe the last video for a little bit. Baby girls do here any week now or any day. And I decided because I will be not going to school where I work at anymore that I can show you guys my everyday carry when I'm outside of my job. And some things have changed, some things will stay the same, but I want to give you guys a brief overview of what I carry day to day, what I carry on my second job, um, driving private clientele, and yeah, so let's go ahead, move the camera closer, and dive on into it. So the first thing I usually have on me is coffee. I don't go anywhere without caffeine. I'm a caffeine addict. I drink probably way too much, but usually I don't leave the house without either a monster or black coffee of some sort. So once this is gone, I would guess this is an everyday carry, but since it starts with me, no matter what, every single morning I have something caffeine related, go ahead and put this in. What y'all are probably interested the most is the pistol itself. This is a Glock 19 Gen 5 in a tier one concealed holster. Now this is not just your basic Gen 5. This has had a lot of work done. I guess for rounds that I carry, these are spear gold dot. But right here, this is your Glock 19 Gen 5, like I said before. Slide has been sent out to CNH Precision to mount a Hollis and EPS, not the EPS carry. Ameriglow front and rear sights, radiant afterburner, compensator, and barrel. And then we have a Surefire X300 Ultra non turbo, Kegs Works extended slide release, media back strap, and Talon Pro grips, I want to say. But besides that, everything else, internals are stock, spring and guide rod assembly are stock. This thing, trigger is stock. It's been my tried and true handgun that I carry 99.9% .9 of the time. If it's not this anymore, it is now the Staccato P. But this is what I carry when I am not on my main job as a PE coach. And this goes everywhere with me no matter what. Walks around the block with the dog, quick store, grocery store run, anything like that. If I leave the house, for the most part, this is with me. So that is the handgun. Now, when I leave the house, of course, you're gonna need car keys, or you're not gonna need car keys, I guess, depending where you live. But I don't live in a place where I can just bike or walk or take a bus. I need my truck, and this is what I drive currently. It's a Ram 1500 in Laramie. Uh, we are currently looking for a new family car, possibly a Chevy Tahoe. But right now it is on a tail of knives, um, little D-ring, even though I don't attach this to my actual belt loop, I just shove it in my pocket. We have some additional paracord. We have a little Gerber shard that's actually very useful, flathead prior, bottle opener, and Phillips. And then I have, um, this here is a key to some of the master locks that I have for like my Pelican case or something like that. But yep, pretty min minimalistic. I do not love keys, so I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, and yeah, that is this. Chapstick. No one likes dry and cracked lips. Doesn't matter the flavor, Burt's Bees, anything like that, whatever's cheap and at the gas station when I need a refill. Lactose intolerance pills because I am lactose intolerant and I do not like to have the runs, so I need to take these wherever I go. If I forget these, these are my lifesaver and it's usually a bland or boring meal if I don't have these. So have these laying around everywhere, truck, wife's car, pockets, anything like that, go bag. Um, for blades, I switch it out, but majority of the time I carry a Benchmade um, Osborne. This is like the OD green with chrome purple. Really like this knife. Uh, first time I had it actually when I went to close it, my pinky was sitting right here and I closed it on my pinky and it cut my nail. So that was awesome. But anyways, blade. Uh, if I don't carry this, I usually carry the um, Warrior Poet Society blade that he has, just the fix, or not the fixed blade, but the pretty long looking blade. If I, I'll roll some B-roll of it. But yeah, that's it for blades. Now, fun story is in Hawaii, I threw away my entire wallet on accident, accident in the trash can, and that wallet was made by a buddy, a uh, leather wallet super slim, really minimalistic, and I loved it. So I went ahead and bought a brand new wallet. This is a Nomad, and I now actually have a Tile credit card 
which helps me if I ever lose this thing. So that is nice to have. But I like to keep as minimal cards. I only have four cards in here, including the tiles. So credit card, ID, uh, carry license, no cash, and then the card itself. So pretty simple for a wallet. I don't like extra stuff. You can have everything on your phone. And I guess that's the next piece is the phone itself, iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, need to upgrade it. It's getting pretty slow. It doesn't really hold a charge anymore, but iPhones these days are stupid ridiculous, and I'd rather spend that money on ammo right now than I would on a phone. So that is the phone itself in like a otter case. And then watches, this is the Garmin Instinct, not the tactical or, or yeah, might be the tactical. I don't know, I got it for Christmas present, Garmin Instinct, non-solar version. Battery life is amazing, it tells the time exactly what I need and that's about it. And Last piece here is something new I added to the kit. This is the Surefire G2X Pro. This is a handheld light. Went ahead and bought the mod clip as well, 2.0. Um, yeah, just kind of tired of using my phone and then just taking Wilson out in the backyard using this to see around. It has two brightness modes, light and even brighter. But yeah, this is a weapon mount, or this is a light. Sometimes it's not always necessary to have a weapon mount and light, a little handheld light just to look for things in the truck, look for things under seats, stuff like that. Nice to have, and it takes two CR123 batteries. So this is the flashlight itself, and that basically does it for my uh, everyday carry. The belt I do wear is a Core Essentials. Um, this one I'm just wearing today. This is like their Buffalo belt with the American flag logo, but I always wear Core belts as an everyday carry. They're nice and stiff, and yeah. So that is gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed that video of my everyday carry. Nothing over the top, nothing crazy. And yeah, baby girl should be here soon. I'll give you guys an update video on that. I am working on like a kind of a cinematic video. I've been working on it for a little bit, waiting on parts to come. And the reason I'm waiting is because I want to do a comparison between my 11 and a half and 16 inch build, like I've mentioned before, running those through the same drill, seeing which one's better, seeing which one's not better. Let me know who you're rooting for down in below for the Super Bowl. If you're rooting for Taylor Swift, Chiefs, Niners, Brock Purdy, Nick Bosa, Travis Kelsey, whoever you want, Patrick Mahomes. Um, but yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Take care.